Having a frequently asked questions or FAQs page on your website is a great way to improve your customer's experience of your website. It allows you to answer the questions that are mostly commonly asked surrounding your product or service. With this, you can concentrate on how best you can serve your customers instead of having to worry about their queries. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a frequently asked questions on your website. I will specifically show you how to add a frequently asked questions page using Elementor. So this tutorial is for you if your website is built with Elementor. And this is how our page will look like after we have finished creating it. Awesome. By the end of this tutorial, I will show you how to add a frequently asked questions to an existing page of your website, just like this. So in this case, I've added it to the contact page. And this is cool if you don't want to have more pages on your website. So if your customers intend to ask you some questions and they land on the contact page, they may easily find questions to the answers they want to ask you. And this is kind of cool. So if you want to learn how to add frequently asked questions page to your website, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to add a frequently asked questions page to my website, the first thing I need to do is go ahead and create a page. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to pages, click on add new. I exit out of here. Then I give my page a title. Next, I choose a template. And I'm going to use Elementor Full Wave. Then I go ahead and publish. Publish. The page is published. Then I go ahead and edit it with Elementor. I will exit the navigator for now. The first thing I want to do is add a banner to my page. So I click on Add New Section, and I'm going to use a single column section. I will change the height to a minimum height of 300. I will give it a background color and a style. I choose classic and I'm going to go ahead and use one of my global colors. So I select this green. Next, I go over to widgets and I drag in the heading widget like this. Next, I go ahead and enter in my title. You can center it if you want. Maybe the HTML tag, I change it to H3. I also want to change the color of the text. I go over to style, text color. Okay, I'll just choose one of my global colors. So that's all about my banner. The next thing I want to do is add a new section for the main business. So I add a new section and I'm going to choose a single column. Next, I go over to widgets and I search for accordion. I have accordion right here. It is part of the free Elementor widgets. I just drag it and drop it in here. And by default, I will be presented with two accordion items. And that is what we are seeing right here. You can use this small duplicating paper icon to duplicate the accordion or you can even go ahead and add a new item from here if you don't want a particular one you can exit it out of here awesome so the next thing i want to do is go ahead and start adding in my questions to do that i just go ahead and click on the first accordion to expand it and this is where i'll enter in my question so i take this off and i go ahead and enter in my question so the first question is how long does it take to build a website I'm assuming that this particular website is for a web agency. With the question being entered, this is where you enter the answer. So I take this out and I'll go ahead and paste in my answer. I can click back on it to collapse it. Then I'll go ahead and click on the second one. In here, I enter the second question. Perfect. And I'll go ahead and enter the answer right here. So now I have two questions. Users can easily click on each one of them to expand them in order to get the answers. Now I've exhausted the two accordion items. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and add a new item and I enter in my question. Then I go ahead and enter in the answer. I'll add another one to demonstrate further. The answer. All right, I have four questions now. So similarly, you can go ahead and add all the questions and answers you think your clients may be asking. I'll just go ahead and add in more questions to the list and get back to you. All right, I've added in some additional three questions. 
If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Now let's go ahead and style up our accordion. The first thing you want to look at is icon. That is the plus icons we see right here. So having plus means you have more people can click to expand. And the active icon is minus sign. So if you want to change any of them, all what you need to do is go to the icon library. And these are the recommended ones. So assuming you need this, insert. This is how it will come up. And I think I like this one, so I'll keep it. If you want to also change the active one, you can go over to the icon library and do that. You can also use an SVG file if you want. You can even go ahead and take the icons off if you don't need it at all. So I'll just click on none to show you how it will work. But I think having them looks cool. So I click back on the plus icon. Then I go ahead and choose this. Sorry, this. Then I insert. Perfect. Next, let's go over to style. In here, you can go ahead and increase the border width. You see that. If you don't need border at all, you can just take it to the far end. See that there are no borders. But if you need the border, what you need to do is go ahead and take off the zero. And you see the borders. You can also change the color of the border, maybe like this. But I don't want to choose any bright colors, I want to keep the default. So I'll go ahead and clear the color. Next, I go over to title. Here, you can choose a background color for the tabs, like this. But I think the default looks cool, so I clear it. You can also go ahead and change the font color. You can also choose an active color, typography, stroke, as well as shadow. You can even go ahead and add in some padding. But I think the default looks cool. However, changing all these settings will depend upon how you want your accordions to look like. You can even go ahead and customize the icon by choosing alignment. You see that. I'll take it back to start. You can change the color of the icon and then the active color. You can add spacing between the icons. And the text like this and I think I'll make it 15 perfect and finally we have content that is the main text with the content you can change the background color text color typography shadow as well as pattern I'll change the background color to white so I'll choose my global colors and this looks nice I'll also go ahead and add in some pattern before I do that, I, I link the values. Top, I want to give it a pattern of 20. Right will be 60. Bottom 20. And left 60. Perfect. Now I go ahead and update. Let's take a look. So this is how it will come up. Now you see that I don't have some space at top and at bottom. So going back, I select the whole section. Then I go to advanced. I'll just go ahead and margin of 80 at top and at bottom. Now let's update. Let's take a look. Perfect. This looks cool now. Now let's go ahead and see how it will come up on mobile and tablet. So I go over to responsive mode. First of all, let's look at tablet. Maybe I want to add in some space at left and at right. I select the accordion section itself. Then I go over to advanced and I'm going to go ahead and add in a pattern. I unlink the values. Then right will be 20 and then left 20. Let's check it out. This looks better. Now let's take a look at it on mobile. Maybe for mobile, I'll reduce the pattern. So I unlink the values. Then right, I make it 10 left 10 perfect all is set i update perfect now creating our frequently asked questions page is done but users of our website cannot access it as yet so how are we going to make this page accessible to our customers to do that i'm going to go ahead and add it as a menu so to add a menu i just hover on the name of my website right here then i click on menus this is the current menu I have on my website and I'm going to go ahead and add the FAQ page in between online form and contact. So if you go to most recent, you see it right here. 
you cannot see it here you can also go to view all then you go ahead and search for it you can also go to search and just go ahead and type in the name of the page either way they will all take you to the same place so i just go back to most recent i select it add to menu it is here i just go ahead and drag it and place it in between online form and contact i save the menu now let's take a look looking at the title of the menu is too long maybe we can abbreviate it so i go back to menus going down i drop the arrow right here then i go ahead and change the label faqs then i save the menu now if i go to the front end and refresh you see it has changed and this looks cool so users can easily come here click on faqs and it will take them to the page awesome now remember i said i will show you how you can add the frequently asked questions to an existing page that is if you don't want to have more pages on your website for this tutorial i will show you how you can add it to the contact page so to do that i click on contact then i go ahead and edit it with elementor inside the elementor editor i want to add it in between the contact information and the google maps so i click on the plus icon right here then I add in a new section, single column. Next, I go over to widget and I search for accordion. I drag it in here. Then from here, you go ahead and enter in your questions and answers. So assuming you don't have the frequently asked questions like we've created, all what you need to do is go ahead and do everything from scratch. But since we have it, let me show you how we can just quickly copy and paste it right here. I still have my frequently asked questions open in Elementor. Let me take off the mobile view first. All what I need to do is go ahead and copy the entire section. So I hover on the six dots right here, right click, copy, then I come back to the contact page. First of all, I take this off, then I add in a section. I'll just right click right here, click on paste. Perfect. And this looks cool. I update. Let's take a look. Perfect. Maybe I can add in a title right here. So I go back. I just go ahead and drag in the heading widget. Then I call it frequently asked questions. Next, I change the HTML tag to maybe H4. I think this is cool. And I go ahead and center it. Let's update. Let's take a look. Perfect. This looks clean and neat. Awesome. So that's it on how to add a frequently asked questions page to your website. All right, guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching, and I will see you in the next one.